Al Padaway, and I'm going to teach you a tuning that is just really, really cool. And I've, I've been really enjoying this tuning over the years, and uh, um, it doesn't have a cool name to it yet, but um, one of the guys here at Dream Guitars suggested that it would be called Seasick. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's a good name or not, but I liked it. Um, anyway, the tuning, whenever I go into an altar tuning from standard, I'm almost always grabbing the note that's going to stay. You know, and in this case, and in almost all the tunings I use, the third string, the G, almost always stays G in all the tunings I use. So that's a good starting point. And in this tuning, I'll tell you what it is, and I'll show you how you might get there. It's C, G, C, G, A, D. So C, G, C, G, A, D. It's a really interesting sounding tuning open, but it's, it's really useful in a lot of ways. And I'll get to that, but first... What you need to do is determine that this is your G string and you have another G in there, which is going to be the fifth, an octave lower. So that one works out to be easy enough. You just tune that A string down to a G. And now you want, you're going to want to have two sets of fifths. So the C on the bottom, you can have a C to G there. So, And then this D string is going to go down to C. So once you get one of those tuned, you tune the other one to it. So you've got two C's, two G's. And then we've only got two strings left. And here you can use the old method of putting down your finger on the, in this case, the second fret to tune that second string to an A. Because remember, this is still a G. So that's going to be A. And then your next string is going to be a D. And because we've tuned the second string down, you can do that on the fifth fret, just like you would for standard tuning. So now one of the reasons I love this tuning is because it feels to me like a combination of standard, drop D, and dadgat all rolled into one. And what I mean by that is I can play licks that I might do in dadgad. I can also play chords I would do in standard. But then I've got the low C on the bottom. So let me give you an example. If I were to play an A minor in standard tuning, it would look like this, right? So in this case, we know this is a G now. So this would be some sort of G minor. But listen when I play the chord. It comes out really beautiful because intervals are the same as standard except for this third string is now up a step and that's going to hold true if it was an A major or G in this case and what that does is it gives you a suspended second in the middle of this of the uh, chord so any chord that you would base off the fifth string like the A minor shape if you're up here in C or C minor B minor you can play the chord like you normally would. And um, it'll sound really nice because you've got that dissonant suspension in the middle. The other thing you can do is open that chord up the way you would in standard and leave the third string open. So. That's going to be the same as what you might do in standard. And then also what you might do in standard is to have the, like in a couple of the tunes I play in standard, I'm using this shape where it looks like this, but I'm opening up to root, third, and fifth. But my open strings are a little bit different now. So what I get is these beautiful chords that are just... Because we have open fifths on the bass, you can always create a chord just by closing up these three strings, or even just two of them. And that'll create a chord with the open strings that's usable. Now, when you play in an open tuning, what you really want to do first is figure out where 
are your favorite keys going to be? And in, in this tuning, I always feel like that G is a good root key and also the C. So most of my keys that I'm going to play in in this tuning are going to be related to G and C. So if we do C, you've got a nice little, little closed C, not closed, but a, a C chord right there on the third fret that looks like an A minor seventh up a whole fret, a whole two frets. And that's movable. do C minor, all you do is take that down a half step. So just using the C as your bass and doing simple two finger chords, you can create quite a bit of beautiful music by having something like that and then adding the melody to it. Now, if you want to get funky with this, it's really good too, for the same reasons that Dad got is good. You've got looser strings, but also you've got these open fifths again. So you've got all these. And then a um, chord that looks just like a seventh chord but swap the first and fourth figures out. And you get a seventh chord in this tuning, so. And that creates a whole other world. So I've, I've written, I, I would say, at least a half dozen songs using this tuning. And I think the best way to approach this is to put it in the tuning and just start goofing around and find out, maybe start with either this or this as your root just start messing around with these different chords I showed you. This open chord, the closed one, the uh, open fifth, and then this open fifth with the suspension, and then move the finger over. So all of those are, are, are chords that I use quite a bit in this tuning, and I think you'll find that within a half an hour or so, you'll be totally lost in it and you'll be writing something really beautiful because it seems like no matter what I do, I come up with these just pretty intervals. It doesn't really matter what you do. It probably does, but <laughs> as long as you don't hit the wrong note, you're okay. So have fun with that tune. That'll be a good one to play with.